you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I will vote no on the confirmation of Loretta Lynch uh, because of her views on uh, the apparently boundless authority of a president and including specifically this issue of the recent executive amnesty. And, and let me say, I think any suggestion that somehow focusing on this is far afield of what we should be focused on in this confirmation process is ridiculous. This is at the center of her prospective job. This is at the absolute center of her responsibilities. Being the top lawyer, not for the president, the president has lots of lawyers and political lawyers and others, including the White House counsel. Being the top lawyer for the country, and these sort of issues are at the center of her job. Now, why did I reach that conclusion? Well, I, I questioned her at length in my office and in committee, and, you know, in contrast to a lot of other folks who spoke, I, I was not at all impressed with her responses because they were completely superficial and political, in my opinion. I asked her, obviously, about the President's executive order in my office, and her first response was she thought it's very legitimate for any executive to set prosecution priorities, and that's what he was doing. I followed up and said, Ms. Lynch, I, I think his orders clearly go beyond setting priorities. They give a new and different legal status to almost five million illegal aliens. And, and she had no specific response to that. She just sort of pointed to the administration legal opinion. I said, Ms. Lynch, uh, this action goes further than that. It hands these folks a new document made out of the blue with the words work permit on top. Where is the legal authority for that? She had no specific response to that. In the hearing, I asked her detailed questions in the same vein. I said, Ms. Lynch, the only authority in the law for this sort of thing demands that any, any action approaching this be made on a case-by-case -case basis. And I said, do you think granting amnesty to about five million illegal aliens is acting on a case-by-case -case basis? She had no significant response. Uh, I said that same portion of the law says the Attorney General has to make the decision on a case-by-case -case basis, and yet there is no plan for you as Attorney General, if you're confirmed, to be in the middle of that process. <coughs> what is your position as Attorney General in that process? How can it be moved to other people in Homeland Security? She had no detailed response to that. So that really concerns me regarding her views of executive authority and this executive amnesty in particular. And that goes to the heart of her job, what would be her job as the top lawyer, again, not of the president, but of the country. I'm also concerned by two other issues which I'll mention very briefly. First of all, as I mentioned previously, Ms. Lynch, as U.S. Attorney in the Eastern District of New York, negotiated a real slap on the wrist deferred prosecution agreement with HSBC, a mega bank, despite their admission that they laundered money on behalf of Mexican drug cartels, terrorist organizations, and other sanctioned enemies, uh, entities rather. This is truly uh, too big to prosecute in jail, and I'm very concerned about that sort of approach. Secondly, with regard to fraud allegations in uh, Hurricane Sandy uh, issues. I'm very concerned about the actions of her uh, office as U.S. Attorney. Just yesterday, uh, in, in a Texas court, there was activity that uncovered that certain private insurance companies involved in terms of making settlements with homeowners uh, tried to demand that those homeowners sign agreements not to cooperate and participate in criminal investigations of them. Uh, that's ridiculous. What's even more ridiculous is that Ms. Lynch's office, her U.S. Attorney's office, made a motion to keep that proposed settlement document out of the record. Now, which side are they on? And why aren't they taking that proposed settlement document and making it part of their criminal investigation 
rather than trying to block it from being in the public record. Uh, based on uh, those specific reasons, I plan to vote no. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator.